EBS volunteer here in Kaunas, Lithuania. Uh, I have been here for five months now already, so I'm halfway through my EBS placement here. So far, everything is very good. I'm working at a daycare center for adults who have psychological disorders. Um, the disorders are anything from epilepsy, depression, schizophrenia, um, so they're very varied. Um, so it's adults, it's anyone from 80 years and above, uh, the ages vary a lot. We were talking about volunteering this morning and the clients were saying that they quite like having the volunteers, they have someone different coming in. So uh, Caritas have uh, various different uh, projects around Kaunas um, and as well as supporting those projects they also have independent ones like the one that I work on. Uh, so it's really good that not only do they have their own projects, they can support independent ones. Um, so they are supporting this one through sending their own volunteers here to help and support the clients. So that's a great thing that they're doing. Um, and as I said, it's a daycare centre so people can come and go anytime during the hours of I believe 9 and 5. Um, we run different activities for them. We have billiards, we do excursions, we do a lot of arts and crafts. Um, every morning we do a tea morning where we have a meeting, we all drink tea and have a discussion on topic. We have uh, various different rooms and activities here. Uh, one of the rooms is arts and crafts. Um, in there I've helped run a art therapy group. So I will have a group of clients and they will come to me and each week we'll do a um, session with them in confidence and uh, they will create something using different art materials and we then later discuss it. Um, I have someone who helps translate and through that we're able to wait, work through that and uh, come to some good conclusions and really help the clients directly. We have a uh, ceramics room, uh, so every Wednesday we do different activities there, different projects. Um, anything that the client wants to make or a specific project and I will sit there and directly help the clients. Sometimes they just need a bit of help and guidance and support and encouragement. I think encouragement is really important here uh, just to tell them that yeah it's really good and uh, because there are activities that sometimes uh, they wouldn't have done otherwise and um, it's really good they get a lot out of it so yeah, it feels very good to do what I can to help in any way I see possible. Um, sometimes it's very challenging, particularly with the language barrier. Uh, my Lithuanian has improved vastly though since I first arrived and I feel I'm at a level where I can at least say a few words and understand a bit more. So um, I'm hoping in the next five months it will improve a lot more. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we were talking about volunteering this morning and the clients were saying that they quite like having the volunteers, they have someone different coming in. Yeah, you learn a lot. You are always thinking on your feet as a volunteer. You are constantly not only surrounded by a brand new culture, a culture that you've never experienced before. Um, being here in Lithuania, it's a, a culture which is like no other. Um, so you're just constantly having to learn and interpret and just react constantly. Um, not only with the other volunteers in your organisation, people at work, people around you. So, uh, yeah, a lot of skills I think I've gained, a lot of which without realising as well. Because I think you're using a lot of your skills all the time. So, I think they're coming very useful with whatever a volunteer wants to do in the future. 